Jack fell down. Sorry for the lack of vlog last week. We're in the process of moving house, so it's been really busy. I wasn't kidding when I said it was, I was gonna be exhausted after work. Flat out arguing with estate agents, negotiating with them, having to pay needless deposits just to feather their bed at night. That actually really annoys me, but that's for another time. Just enjoy us moving on and moving out of this place. It's just gonna be quite a long bloated affair with us swearing and throwing boxes around and me trying to drive a van. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. There's all my worldly possessions. Come on. Alright, moving house, it? Yeah, on our way to get the van. This is man's eternal struggle for find a bloody van. <laughs> it's like a some kind of drug deal or something. No, I think this is it. Are you having a nice day driving a van, Sam? Oh look, no, there's a roundabout. Just got the van back. Like it took ages to get it through town. 38 minutes for a 12 minute estimated journey. I'm so exhausted. Now I've got to put all the stuff from the pavement into the flat. So I'm never hiring a van again, that was dreadful. This is the new place. Got a lot of uh, cleaning ups to do. We're both really tired now, and now we have to post. Oh, nice hat. Yeah, some wearing hats. It's going to be miscellaneous non labels. There's, there's really bad cups though. Oh, they smell horrific. I don't know what you're smelling, but all I can smell are Pringles. What's your house? You have fun cork. Sam's trying not to explode everyone's face. <laughs> not meant to do it like that. Where did it hit? <laughs> they hit the roof. That could have killed someone, mate. No, it could. Could have killed me it's if not it not hit my ballistic. eye. It's not a deadly ballistic. Bee! Oh, she's already drinking, look. She's failed at. Ooh, I don't have a flute, so it's fine. You don't have a flute, you should basically go away. <laughs> <laughs> what the potatoes, right? They go on the top shelf, but all in that. Oh my god, wow. yeah, that's not fitting it. In it. We don't even have a bed. Whiskey in the jar. But your thoughts will zoom me wandering. That's rubbish, I'm not even playing the music. <laughs> and we said nay. We are but men. Rock. Ah, ah. Our new place is right near a pub. How fucking awesome. Returning to number 18 because we forgot stuff. I'm back so soon. It's been stripped, oh man. It's all empty. Oh, except that. Random leads. And we're getting rid of that telly so it doesn't fucking matter. Soy sauce. Stealing stuff from our old house is what we really mean. I'm on track of it. Yes. This is probably the last time we'll be in this place. Bye, chill. See ya. So this is it, this is the new place. It's all good, we managed to get everything into the van. All of my girlfriend's stuff, which is pretty much everything you see, and mine is just like two bags. Driving through the city was uh, quite interesting. It took 40 minutes to go four miles. I didn't obviously record any of that because I was busy driving and I didn't want to get pulled over by the police by having a camera and trying to drive at the same time. We had the van for four hours. In that time, we had to come here, sign the tenancy agreement, go back to our old place, get all of our stuff into the van, drive it here, unload it, and then get it back. And it was just like, Ugh. Anyway, I'm glad we've moved in now. It sounds quite echo in here because we don't have any furniture yet. Moving in to an unfurnished place that cost as much as it did has left us a little bit skint. But it's fine, you know, this is a lot better than the alternative which was, of course, being homeless. That we managed to get a place within such a short time frame, you know, we only started looking a week and a half ago. Oh, you try and rent a place, it's like you have to prove to them that you're like the best possible candidate. They run you through the grinder to make sure that you can pay them every month. Now, I won't go into the details because, frankly, I'm just glad it's behind me and we can get on with our life. Keep subscribing to me. If I get enough subscribers, I might be able to become a partner and then start earning money from me talking in front of a camera and doing other stuff. And then I can pay my rent and I can keep doing this and entertaining you guys. So you'll be helping me, helping you in a sort of convoluted, selfish way, which actually will be helping me. So, thank you. I have to apologise to one of my friends. I promised him a party of some kind and he drove all the way from his house about 60 miles away. I had passed out through exhaustion through the day and possible drunkenness as well. I woke up to a text message saying that he'd gone home and I just felt so bad. So I'm really sorry mate, but I'll make it up to you and your girlfriend. Anyway, that's about it. So I'll see you next week and we'll see what happens. Goodbye. Farewell potatoes.